episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the reveal trailer for a new Kingdom Hearts game of sorts. So, of sorts. Um, recently, Square Enix officially released a Kingdom Hearts 2020 trailer, looking back at what they've given it released so far, which is, of course, the um, there was the Remind DLC. There was they're looking back at the original release of Kingdom Hearts 3 because it's been over a year since yeah. the game's released. It's gonna be a while till I get to the even actual. But game. let me <laughs> uh, let me explain. I don't think this is a spoiler for you. That's why you're here with me doing yeah. this because I believe it's not a spoiler. But this was the title was leaked like a day or so prior to this, and that's for Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, which was revealed at the end of the Kingdom Hearts 2020 trailer, mm -hmm. which it's um basically apparently it's a music rhythm game. Um. Have you ever heard of the games, uh, the game Theater Rhythm? No. Uh, Theater Rhythm is a very popular Final Fantasy rhythm game. Mm -hmm. You basically play uh, like chibi versions of the of Final Fantasy characters, but it's a music-based rhythm game, pretty much. Okay. Um, uh, it came out on a whole bunch of different like portable systems. It even has its own arcade cabinet, pretty okay, much. Cool. Oh, it depends on where you go for it. And apparently, it's something in the vein of that. I believe okay. something like that. Apparently, also apparently, a main character is Kyrie. The for the first time in the series, the main character. Oh, the, the main character you're playing is, 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 is Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah. yeah, you know enough about Kyrie. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's just dive right into this. For this is the official reveal trailer. This is more like Japanese version of it, from what I heard, uh, of Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Oh, sorry. One unique fact about this. Yes. Because you know, three was Xbox and PlayStation. This is actually coming to the Switch as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. I so kind of figured. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Again, sorry, I was interrupted. Uh, the reveal trailer for Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. So here we go. <laughs> yes, he does care most of just like the ones with the arrow. What the hell? That's interesting! That's different. <clears throat> so it's a rhythm game, but it's a combat rhythm game. I like it. I don't it. even ever put those words to genres together. It's different though, I like it. I heard it was uh, had Pirates Maker, but apparently not. I was wrong. And they tease oh, it with the cheapy stuff, too. I'm not good at rhythm games. I love my rhythm games, but I mean, but I'm mean, glad I'm wrong. It's I mean, I, it's, it's not like I, I play a lot. Oh of my them. god, you have to take on him! Oh my god. Ah oh. oh, crap, Chris, we're gonna have to hit the side of your lot, huh? Uh, it's probably the main story to the game. Yeah. The main story for Melody, yeah. Melody Memory. I think this is the part where we play as Kai. Oh! Interesting. You get to go into Kyrie's past. That's interesting. You get to go into Kyrie's past. Well, because not. I'll explain after this. Yeah, it looks like the main story is focused on Kyrie. Yeah, 2020. See, Switch as well. Yeah. So it looks like... Because there's not much known about Kyrie's past. Yeah. Like, what we do know is based off of what we got from the main games, which is, like, she was she was a member, I believe... Oh God, my, my lore is behind on this. But I believe she's, like, tied to, like... Because in the free play of the first game, she's one of the seven princes of heart. Yeah. So, like, you don't find out exa a little, exactly until, like... Um, Birth by Sleep, the PSP title, um, a bit like she was a member. She was a member, I guess, of this royal family and stuff like that. Yeah. And like, she did encounter one of the characters, hence why she's able to wield a keyblade. But not much is known about her background. Mm -hmm. Not much is known about her story and how she wound up on Destiny, I Destiny Islands for the Destiny Islands world, for example. Okay. Not much is known. Hell, that's one of the original reasons in Cage One. They saw Riku on go on a quest with her, kind of discover her her story. Yeah, and we never figured it out. So it looks like they're using this game to take advantage of that and give and more and background, background on her beat. story. That makes sense. Yeah, I can't really explain it like where she's at right now because that's like major spoilers to Kingdom Hearts three. Mm -hmm. um, but all I will say is, 
Fuck, I'm behind our... I haven't played the Remind DLC yet, <laughs> but... Uh, I haven't played any of the new stuff just yet, which but, I'm still trying to get up, caught up on, because there's some games that I need to play, because he tells me, like, you got to play it already. And it's, it's one I of those things. I would go more into discussion about what's going on, but even now, I don't even exactly know what the hell is going on. Right now, the only game I'm still currently on right now is Final Fantasy... Fifteen uh, of the uh, I'm playing the royal uh, but, okay. edition, but, but anyway, let's, let's back talk to about this. The, the gameplay. Uh, could you rewind the video back to gameplay, please? Thank you. Uh, so the gameplay is kind of like com like a combat rhythm game. That's what it seems like. So like I was thinking it was like it was going to be more like theater rhythm, which is like it's a side thing. You press the button, yeah, yeah, it's time it. So it looks like it's a unique combat system instead. The question well, is, uh, uh, my yeah. get my guess, it works like Guitar Hero. Like, the, each line represents a button on your controller, for example. Yeah. So, like, say we're playing the PlayStation version. I would assume, in this shot, Donald represents square, sort of triangle, Hercules circle. Yeah, it's like, so like, like, the timing, and then there's certain moments it looks like you have to, like, it's like, you know, you see the, the arrows, or it's like, okay, yeah, the that, jump. That, yeah, that is more true. The, that footage where he showed in Twilight Town yeah. does look more akin to, like, something from theater rhythm. Yeah. Or the boss fight they show with Xemnas, in a way. It's more akin to more something you would see in theater rhythm. So I'm curious more to find out more about this. Like I said, I'm like he's like you're only like whew. um yeah I'm you're technically only you, luckily thanks to the HD collections you don't have to worry about much. So you're only technically behind three games. You're you, you never played Birth by Sleep. Uh, there's the prologue that came after two. Well, when oh we no, get, four uh, games because yeah. there's King Hearts 3D. Um, yeah, because yeah. I'm gonna be playing the. the that, that's fine though. I'm like four games behind on Assassin's Creed, so like. Well, let me start. That's a whole different other conversation. But no, I'm, I I just like you said before, before I even play uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, three. I saw like you said I saw to play the HD the the. Yeah. the and like I would thing. I would talk more about this, but like I about the footage issue of Kyrie and stuff. But like I said, I haven't played the Remind DLC, which is to see if, it, if there's any yeah. connection to yeah, because Remind uh people fans were mixed on it because it does provide a lot more boss fights that three felt like a, a challenging boss fight that three a lot of people felt the base game with three was lacking. But on the other side, there's not a lot of story, which a lot of people were expecting. They want a lot more, more story. story. They want more story. It was, than from what I've heard, it's more like 80% combat, 20% new story. Mm -hmm. So, like, nice. yeah, you nice. see what I mean? So, like, I, I would talk more about the Kyrie stuff, but I haven't even played the Remind DLC yet, so. But, no, this looks, this is different. Don't be wrong. It's different. I see why they would yeah, bring the Switch, because it makes sense. It's another in the line of the Kingdom Hearts guys doing something unique with their combat, which, like, you got that with Chain of Memories. Um... You kind of get that with the mobile, a couple of the mobile games they came out with, like, re I code it, pretty much. And this is another one in that long line where yeah. it is a music rhythm game, which I would love to get my hands on to try it out. I am going to probably get it because I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. I probably won't be really good at it, but I'm going to try you my best. the best you can, yeah. Try my best. But, yeah, I'm invested. It, says it comes out 2020. Two Switch as well. A lot of people, a lot of people in the Sword for Smash, like, campaign... Are like really like excited that they just confirmed it for Switch as well because that means there's a little bit of hope. There's yeah. a little sliver of hope, which I, I'm gonna tiniest violin, grain of salt, take that grain of salt on that. Yeah, I'm gonna be excited either way. So, <laughs> other than that though, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share this around, share it around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about video games and the very long and convoluted line storyline known as Kingdom Hearts, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this uh, trailer overall. If we missed any information or if you missed any, any information, cry less down below, know below. Um, what do you guys, again, what do you guys' thoughts are on this trailer and what they're bringing to it? Are you happy to bring to the Switch? Uh, what are your guys' initial reactions to this trailer? Are you excited that we get, we're diving more into uh, uh, Kyrie's story? Um, and what do you think of the gameplay that they showed so far? Uh, love to hear you guys' thoughts. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall to this trailer. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very... I just got the title name. That makes sense with the Kyra story. This has been a very melody-filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.